An all-girls team will be representing Grenada at the first Global Challenge International Robotics Competition in Athens, Greece from September 26th to the 29th. This is the first all-girls team for Grenada, underscoring the nation's commitment to promoting gender diversity in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM fields. The first Global Challenge is an Olympic-style international robotics competition that takes place in a different country each year. Jermaine Burke, assistant mentor of the Grenada Team Robotics, spoke to GIS about the team's preparation. Burke was part of last year's team, which represented Grenada in Singapore. This year's theme is Feeding the Future. And what that entails is providing a sustainable development and sustainable access to food and food security. When we look at the world today, we see the fact and the need that food security is not a very prevalent thing in a lot of countries, whether it be first world countries or third world countries or small island developing states such as us here in the Grenada and in the CARICOM as well. Feeding the Future aims at solving real world problems by simplifying it to its core roots and using robotics and mechanics to enhance or simplify these um, problems and make it approachable for the younger minds. Burke's experience with the previous team has been instrumental in guiding the current group and he believes the team has the ability to perform better than last year. Grenada placed 35th out of 100 participating countries in Singapore. This year we have been preaching to the girls that consistency, reliability and also double checking is key. One of our faults last year was the fact that because of the pressure we were under due to the unavailability of some of our team members, it was a lot of complications in terms of making sure everything is secured on the robot itself. We had a couple of matches where we'd have done great, but we had to sacrifice our position in terms of point scoring to actually make it to the final stages or the final rounds of the individual matches, where we would have the wheels of the robot falling off <laughs> or certain aspects or certain features of the bot not being able to cor um, work efficiently or correctly. So we have been telling the girls and preaching to the girls that, hey, we're going to go up this year with a robot that is functional 100%. I believe that they have what it takes to be do better than us, to win awards that we didn't win. We have, they have the ability to, I'd say, win the entire competition. Three team members told GIS about their preparedness. Sisters Eva and Emma Chuk and Eloise Gooding are going to Greece this year. As a student, I think it's a really great opportunity to be a part of this team because it's going to help me when I have to go into like universities and apply. I have this to put on my application and to make it look better and I just feel very proud to represent my country in such a small thing as Eloise said. It's not really talked about in Grenada so to be a woman and to be doing this is, is really nice. With the guidance of our mentors and so and Juman, who has been helping us, he traveled last year. I think he really helped us and guide us. So we started with prototyping and they sent us the, the team for this year and we've been trying to build that and they have challenges that they've been sending for us, social media challenges and all this stuff that we've been doing in order to prepare for the upcoming competition. I feel like if I was to look back and tell my younger self that I had this opportunity and I was here today, in front of a camera, able to share my story, I wouldn't believe myself because it's really something that um, coming from you know a regular household, you wouldn't think you would find yourself in. But really, if you put yourself out there, there are opportunities waiting for you. And I think it's really, it's really inspiring to see people that's done it before me and the fact that it's not impossible to do. I really am interested, and I think that um, Grenada necessarily doesn't offer exactly what I want to do and I figured getting into robotics would open more opportunities for me in towards the future and I thought it would be a great step and it really turned out to be. Um, I'm really interested in physics and robotics has really you know guided me along those lines and helped me learn a few things. It feels almost like unreal like being able to represent such like my little my small island in such like a big competition of like over 190 countries 
it's a feeling that like I don't think I could ever feel like this again to have the opportunity to represent Grenada with something that isn't extremely like isn't too large in our country so we, to be able to bring awareness to something that should be recognized because um, it's something that's not talked about often and as a young woman we have like a voice and we're going to use our voice as young women to bring awareness to um, robotics. Eloise Gooding, who is also the team's PRO, said her team is raising funds towards which will assist them in their accommodations. In efforts to reach as far as Greece, there um, we have to do a bit of fundraising. And so we can see on the screen in the back there, we have our Team Grenada merch on sale. So you can email us, find us on Instagram. The handle is right there. And it should be the same at for Facebook. You can just look for the name SpiceBot on Facebook. We also have a YouTube channel that you can subscribe to where we post content and other things. And um, you can email as well, or you could reach out to any team member me, Eva, Emma, or any team member to um, find out about the t-shirts. It's not more than $55 for any print. The team is scheduled to leave the island on September 23rd.